I think mainly some of the reasons that girls aren't in STEM today is because they're not seeing role models. It's important that more people are put out there to empower girls, and I'm aiming to be one of those people. My math level is higher than what the standard eighth grade math level is. And the reason for that is because I started early with Kumon. When I came to Colorado, even though I still wasn't a student at Kumon, I still had that passion and connection with helping other students gain a solid foundation in math and reading like I had. I pretty much live there now. Every Mondays and Thursdays after school, I go to Kumon, and I spend most of my summers there too, working with a lot of students. I started Kumon when I was three and a half. There were a lot of times between D and G where I was like, yeah, this is not for me. I really don't want to do this. But then I got back up and realized that if I quit now, I'm never going to be able to get through this. I really, really wanted to push through long division. It gave me a sense of persistence and setting goals for myself. Once I started to get into the swing of things, start learning new topics, it kind of came to me, hey, you know, I think I'm getting the hang of this. Today, I'm working with professors at a university, looking at problems such as lead contamination, opioid addiction, and trying to make the world a better place. One of our family friends had gotten into an accident and started to take opioid drugs and become addicted to it. I decided that I wanted to create a way to diagnose opioid addiction at an early stage. What I wanted to do is look at some of the more biological portions of this. Protein detection systems as well as the human genomic structure, what happens in our genes that controls opioid addiction. I created a device named Epioni, which diagnoses opioid addiction at an early stage. It was just absolutely amazing to get that email at 4 a.m. in the morning that I was selected as one of Forbes 30 under 30. It's definitely something that I've been dreaming about. I love science, so my parents have always done whatever's best for me so that I can continue on my passion of science. I think for sure all of these extracurriculars in Kumon has helped me become somebody who is more aware of our surroundings. I think that we're all growing up in a place where we're seeing problems that have never existed before and it's our duty to stop them as soon as possible. I look at the world as a community and we each have our part to play. I want to play that bigger part of solving and eradicating some of the world's problems. As much as I would like a solution to happen overnight, I have to learn to stay with the problem, stay persistent, and that's what Kumon has taught me over the years.